Greetings once again, and welcome to Kenzium Solutions presentation on Doxept, our document management system offering. This is number three in our series, and in this presentation we're going to look at how to edit a document by accessing the drop-down menus in the Explorer function. We'll go ahead and get started here. I've already gone ahead and logged into the system. Uh, again, this is the main page that you're going to see after you log into it. We'll go ahead and use the Explorer function to get to a, a file we want to work with. Naturally, you could use a search function if you wanted to, but I want to show you how to get to it from the Explorer. We're going to go ahead and find our demonstration file, which is under a folder called Auburn Norway, and it's just a typical invoice file. Now again, what you're seeing on the left-hand side here is the file tree hierarchy, and on the right you're seeing the contents of it. In this case, there are eight folders under this Auburn Norway one, and there are six documents. Uh, the document we're looking for is this one here, Invoice 1234. Again, we'll go ahead and look at the different descriptors on it. The first portion right here, you'll see status. There's nothing in there. That'll come into play here shortly, uh, so make sure you remember that one file type just shows you different icons of the, of the different file types in this case the one we're going to be working with is a, win, uh, a word file uh, the file name in this case it's invoice 1234 who created which is the administrator uh, version number 5 uh, the notes that are just put in there priority 5 uh, and you can put in whatever notes you want and I'll show you how to do that here shortly the update date the file size and lastly, you have two drop-down menus, Action and View. Uh, the one we're concerned with right now is Action. We'll go ahead and click on that. Now, say we want to go ahead and edit the file. We're going to go ahead and click on Edit. Now what this is doing is uh, the system is preparing the file for you to go ahead and open it in its native environment. By that I mean if it's a Word file, it'll open it in Word. If it's an Excel file, it'll open it in Excel. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click on the file down here. Now you'll see it's opening it up in Word. And we just have a typical invoice. Uh, we'll go ahead and make some changes here. Uh, you can edit this however you want to. In this case I'm just going to change uh, the amount here to $2,000. Maybe they spent a little bit more. Uh, now what you're going to have to do is save the file. Because you've changed this, it's not going to automatically pull it back into the system. It's going to have you do an extra step in there just to make sure that the file you're editing is exactly what you want to edit. So we'll go up here to File. Now remember our file name is Invoice1234. So we want to save it as the same file name. We'll go ahead and use the Save As. Invoice1234. And we'll go ahead and save that on our desktop here so we got quick access to it. Okay, go ahead and save that. go ahead and get out of that one. Now you'll notice on the invoice file here uh, this, there's a status symbol that has changed. This is telling you that this particular document is in the process of being edited. Now if you go over toward the action tab uh, you'll see that instead of the multiple choices it, gives you, it used to give you, now it will only give you two different functions. You either have to go ahead with the update or to cancel the update. In this case, we'll go ahead and update it. Go up to the browse and find out where we stored it. Now we stored it on our desktop, so it should be right here. Here it is. Just double click on that. It'll bring it into the system. You can add whatever comments you want to if you need to. If you need to notify users that you have edited a document, you can do that as well. Uh, in this case, we're just going to go ahead and upload it. Uh, file uploaded successfully go ahead and close that. Okay, now you'll see again invoice 1234 the status icon is gone which means it successfully was edited and uploaded. Version 6 now automatically it'll place uh, just a comment here that says new version 6 so you know that it was recently updated as well. And we can go over to the view tab and we'll bring up the drop down and look at the history of the document. Now under the history you'll see there are six different versions of the document. The most recent and active one uh, is number six. Now if you want to, for whatever reason, you can revert to your previous documents. Maybe something has changed, maybe something uh, needs to go back to the way it was a couple of versions ago. Uh, you can do that by automatically clicking restore and it'll revert to that. 
the advantage over this system uh, is it's a tighter version control versus just a typical environment where you're going to have to rename files and folders. In a typical case, you, your system is not going to allow you to have invoice 1234 and have five or six versions of it. You're going to have to rename them invoice 1234A to 1234B or some sort of system like that. Uh, that creates a whole new set of problems because then you're searching for different document names and maybe you're not sure which version is what. Uh, so this gives you a lot tighter version control and by the click of a button you can automatically see the different versions so that's pretty pretty helpful. We'll go ahead and close out of that. Now again you'll see everything has stayed the same. Uh, I want to click on view one more time just so I can show you something uh, that's kinda handy here as far as the notes. We'll go ahead and click on the notes. Now this will give you the history of the notes. Who did them? Who put them on there? Uh, these are not necessary for you to keep because they're not critical. Uh, in this case, we're going to go ahead and put that this is priority COB. Now I just put that in there as close of business. Uh, you can put in whatever you want. So we'll go ahead and close that. So you'll see here in the notes that's what comes up. Uh, that's a real good way, simple way uh, of making you and allowing you to edit documents within the system. Uh, gives you real tight version control and gives you real visual uh, representation of what's going on with your documents. Uh, once again, Kensington Solutions would like to thank you for your time and enjoying us and look forward to having you again as we delve a little bit further into Docsept, uh, our specific document management system, and look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.